Hi guys, I hope you're all doing well. So this is actually the first video I've filmed in a really long time and the first one in the new bedroom because you might have noticed I have moved house. I've been doing kind of moving vlogs and weekly vlogs and all that stuff, but I haven't yet filmed a talking video in the bedroom. So this is really weird for me. This is the first time I've ever done it and it feels really strange. So for today's video, I thought I would kind of go full autumn because autumn is actually my favorite season despite being such a summer baby. I do love the kind of layering and the colors and the scents and stuff of autumn. Everything about autumn is just so cozy and I love it. So today I thought I would share with you my autumn winter wardrobe essentials with French Connection and show you what I have been picking up for my autumn winter wardrobe and things that I'm going to be wearing a lot of, things that I may be adding into my wardrobe for a prolonged period of time, trends, etc. So I've got quite a few clothing items and I also do have two accessories. So the first thing I want to share with you is their fragrance, which is actually a new launch and it smells. It's the first time French Connection have ever actually launched a fragrance that is an eau de toilet and I'm absolutely obsessed with it. There is a women's one and there is a man's one, obviously, because they do men's and women's. But this is the women's one and it smells amazing. It's kind of like floral, but not too fruity and sweet. It's a really nice grown up smell if you are like me transitioning away from like the fruity teenage smells and you want something a bit older. Really hard to explain, but I absolutely love the smell of it. You definitely need to go in the store and have a little smell of it. And then we also have the first and only accessory which is this bag which is actually a really different shape to something I would normally go for but this is actually a recycled leather bag it comes in a few different colors obviously I went for black it's just classic and I really really like it I think it's such a gorgeous style and I love the fact that it's got the crossbody strap but you can also use it as a little carry bag really nice for kind of jazzing up an outfit if you're wearing something a lot more basic like I wear I tend to wear a lot of like casuals and plain things so this is kind of way to add a bit of something to an outfit without making it look too jazzy and I think the price point is only about 95 pounds so really reasonable again and recycled leather means that you're actually buying something that's slightly good for the environment so worth doing okay so i'm going to go in with clothes and start with the first thing which is actually just basic t-shirts because you can never have enough basic t-shirts and if you have followed me on instagram you will know that i do wear a lot of black and white t-shirts or vests all of the time i tend to kind of pair them with different things on a daily basis and maybe put like a statement knit or a coat or like a fancy pair of trousers or something but these are kind of the essential of a wardrobe, I think, and they're something that you can never go without. So French Connection t-shirts are really, really great quality. They are £20 each, and I just picked up a black and a white one because, honestly, you can never go wrong with having a black and white t-shirt. They are absolutely an essential of a wardrobe. And then also in the kind of t-shirt department, I have been loving slogan knits this year, and it seems like they're absolutely everywhere. So a nice graphic tee or a little slogan or something similar is everywhere. They go so well with so many different things, whether you're rocking the vinyl trend, the leather trend, the velvet trend, and whatever it is you're wearing, style it up with a little graphic tee and you can't really go wrong. So this is actually Le Bulldog, which I think is about £35, but I will leave the link down below because I have already taken the tag off. And I think this is really sweet. It's like a really nice boxy fit. It's lightweight, it's really wearable. And I think this is the kind of thing that I can even wear in summer because obviously t-shirts you can just wear year round, but it will also look great styled up with a suit or just a chunky knit again or whatever it is that you choose to wear it with. It will look fantastic. Then we have an item, which is something that I've been trying to add into my wardrobe for a while. I've got a couple already but I haven't really worked out how best to wear them and kind of include them into my style because it's something that I do love. I'm just finding it really difficult to style at the moment without just putting it with like jeans or whatever. So it is actually just a kind of basic shirt. So I actually picked up this one which is a really nice soft grey. Kind of wanted to go for white but I do already own a couple of white shirts and I thought something like light grey was just really seasonally appropriate. Great for kind of year round so it'll be fine in spring summer. And this one is £55. I got a six and it is quite a boxy fit but I really really like it. I like the fact it's just really casual. I can honestly wear this with so much in my wardrobe bottom half wise or even just undone over a dress or something it will just look really nice so worth having and it doesn't necessarily need to be a formal piece even though it is a shirt which is what I've been struggling with previously so finding ways to style it a little bit more casually or even just like smartening up a really casual outfit absolutely loving it I've also seen quite a few people recently wearing these with cycle shorts and just putting like a belt or like a belt bag around and it looks really really great so definitely something you can style up in many many different ways depending on your personal preference then I'm going to go in with knitwear because I do have four pieces of knitwear on here so the first is this kind of statement knit really really cozy it's got a high neck it's got the raglan sleeve and this again great for wearing with a lot of different pieces statement knitwear is such a big trend this season i've seen statement knits everywhere there is so many different styles and prints and colors and textures and all sorts but this is kind of a nice way to wear a statement knit if you're maybe not bold enough to wear something that's like brightly colored or really over the top or anything it's just a really nice subtle statement knit and again really comfortable really wearable i've been wearing this quite a lot already and i'm just obsessed with it but yeah really really easy wearable piece goes really well with leather goes really well with 
velvets and vinyls and all that kind of stuff depending on the trend that you want to wear it with. Then we'll go for another jumper because I feel like I'm on that vibe at the moment. This is probably the colour of the season. It is a really nice camel. Again, great if you are a neutral lover. You might notice there is not a whole lot of colour on this rail because I don't really wear colour. I tend to stick to my black and white but I've been slowly adding in more neutrals and earthy tones because I just think they work really really well for my skin tone and my hair and just my general style is what I prefer to wear. So this is a really nice camel knit, a bit longer than your average, but I really like the fact it's a bit longer, so you can wear it with a pair of skinny jeans and some statement boots. And it looks like a lot more than just a jumper and jeans, which is kind of a uniform in autumn, let's be honest. Everyone just lives in jumpers and jeans because it's the easiest thing to wear, but if you can make them look stylish, why not? Then we have a couple of cardigans. So this is the first one, which is a really gorgeous ribbed cardigan. It's kind of like a soft grey with the navy on the inside, and I just really liked this. It's really, really long it's the belted and I think it's just perfect for dressing up an outfit so if you maybe aren't cold enough to wear a full coat or you have a long coat that you just kind of want to layer up this is perfect because if you haven't seen all over fashion week everyone has been kind of layering up different lengths of knit and it's really really popular at the moment to have like a knit longer than your coat so this is a great thing to have it kind of comes just below my knee which I'm quite short so this will probably be shorter on a lot of people I'm only like five foot four and it costs 110 pounds which is really really affordable price point absolutely love it I think it's just a really easy throw on knit then we actually have something which came from the men's department so I saw this and fell in love with it and I think Having spoken to a few different people, a lot of girls tend to actually gravitate into the men's knitwear departments because sometimes they actually have better knitwear than us and if you want something a bit oversized, their neck of the woods is definitely the way to go because everything is obviously a lot more boxy fit. This is a gorgeous cardigan, chunky wool, absolutely love it. They have it in a few different colours, so there was cream, grey, a dark green or a camel colour. I chose cream just because it's a colour that I don't actually already own in a cardigan. As you can see, I am kind of loving cardigans at the moment. So this one is actually £110, so same price as the other knitwear. Kind of runs on a parallel, they all have kind of a similar price range. Then we're moving into the more kind of nighttime section of my rail. So I have got four outfits. So these are all things that you could wear from day to night, but I've chosen to put them in a kind of more formal section of the rail because the knitwear is obviously a lot more casual. So the first is this dress which I am honestly loving. So it's a really gorgeous shirt dress and it doesn't have a collar, it's kind of a granddad collar style. It's got the buttons all the way down the front and the gorgeous belt detailing which is really really flattering on. Looks really really great with camel coloured boots or kind of statement boots. I actually also love leaving it a little bit undone and just wearing like a lacy bralette underneath because it gives a bit more of a feminine vibe to it and also it makes it feel a bit younger. This is the kind of thing you could wear to an office but you could also wear out for cocktails or just every day. Basically a multi-versatile dress. I'm gonna stop waffling now. <laughs> then following on from that little black dress, we have another one. This is actually something that I didn't know if I would be able to style very easily, but I'm absolutely loving it. You might have seen it on my Instagram account. I actually did a ways to start over fashion week of this, wearing it with a nice chunky knit and some boots. But it's just this really gorgeous pleated velvet dress with the lace and mesh panelling. Really, really gorgeous. I love the fact it's got this huge lace panel at the bottom. Looks amazing layered, or also you could just wear it kind of on its own with some heels. Very, very versatile, and it's the kind of thing that taking it through to party season, I honestly feel like I could wear this in the day and then just dress it up completely differently for the evening by literally just changing a pair of shoes. It's not something I ever would have picked up, but I'm really, really glad that I did because it's just perfectly fitting to my wardrobe. Then again, with the formal wear, we actually have this jumpsuit, which is incredible. For me, I actually thought this would be perfect on holidays. So I'm actually going on a trip in a couple of days time. As you're watching this video, I think it'll be like just coming up and it's gonna be a bit warmer because it's Europe. So I kind of thought this would be perfect if I wore it with some like Birkenstocks or something and then just had like a little lace bralette under underneath because it's kind of easy to dress up or down if I just kind of roll the sleeves up or whatever. It's just a really easy piece to kind of wear with heels, wear with boots, however you fancy wearing it, I feel like it will literally go for any occasion. Really, really easy to wear. I actually think, to be honest, I'd wear this on an everyday basis with trainers and like I said, just throw a pair of heels in the bag and you can wear it day to night. It does cost £125 but the colour and the fit and the style is so timeless that it's definitely the kind of piece that you could just have for years and years. If you're like me, I don't tend to go to that many kind of formal occasions but it's something that I would wear often to one and I'd also wear casually so very versatile piece and finally we have a suit which if you know me you know I'm very much a suit girl rather than dresses when it comes to more like dressed up dinners and things like that I tend to normally go for a suit personal preference I don't really know why I do it I just absolutely love a suit and this one is probably one of my favorites so it's a very tailored classic fit really really gorgeous grey colour but when you flip it over there is this darker grey panelling under the arm and a black panel on the back and then when you look at the trousers which are also on here the trousers are actually black at the front 
and grey at the back so really really gorgeous block contrasting and but it's really nice to have one that's just a bit different and again you could wear this to an office in the day you could wear it casually out for drinks you could wear just a blazer just the trousers suits are just so flipping versatile that I don't know why every girl does not have one they are honestly an absolute essential to your wardrobe whether it's autumn winter or year round they are just such a great piece to have and the fact that it fits so well is just a dream I actually picked up a six and I find that it just fits me perfectly again I am only five foot four so I have rolled up the sleeves a little bit just personal preference I always like having my sleeves a little bit rolled up but yeah I've been wearing it with trainers with t-shirts underneath I've been wearing it with jumpers underneath everything I feel like I've said that about this whole video but that's kind of the idea of an autumn winter essential you want it to be something that you can put in your wardrobe and you can wear it to death it goes with so many different outfit variations so that you know that you're getting the full wear out of it and that's actually the end of the video guys I've hit the end of the reel but I hope you enjoyed this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you did let me know if there's anything you would like me to film I am going to be getting back into fashion videos a little bit more alongside all the travel stuff which you know is inevitable with me I am a very big travelaholic so so there will be a lot of that coming too but i hope you enjoyed this video guys and i'll see you in my next one